Imagine skipping the car dealership altogether. You want to buy a new car, you put on an augmented reality headset, and you have the car sitting in front of you in your living room, and that's how you purchase your next car. That's what's happening here at Evox Images. We're going to take a look inside about what they're doing with augmented reality and virtual reality capturing cars and bringing it to you. I see a workstation here, up here, there's a shelf with a couple cars on it, and I could grab one, right? Okay, so here I am, I'm sitting inside of the car. It, it has a photorealistic feeling to it, for sure. Dave Weber is the head of business development for Evox. He's somebody that's been working in automotive marketing for a long time. He was a senior level marketing exec at Hyundai. What we talked about is the way that people are buying cars is changing. Evox is the leading provider of digital images uh, in the automotive space. Uh, we've been in business for 23 years. There is no doubt that if anybody has been on the internet looking at cars, they're seeing Evox images. The founder of the company started it in his garage back in 1995. He started this company really in anticipation of virtual reality coming through the market in the first place. And unfortunately at that time the VR technology wasn't really where it needed to be. There was eye lag in terms of delay of the headset moving and what you saw people were getting nauseous. Um, and at that point in time the company kind of pivoted a little bit we then were the first to create this library that we license uh, assets to car dealerships and websites and uh, research companies, OEMs. And then in 2015 with Facebook purchasing Oculus, um, it's almost as if the, comp the industry had gone full circle and kind of moved back towards our original roots. How does having an augmented reality encounter with a car versus just looking at a still image of an interior affect the purchasing funnel. Car buyers are looking for quicker, more complete shopping experiences. We believe that the next technology platform is going to be a VR, AR type of product. And what we want to do is take advantage of that technology and provide the assets so that people can have a more emotionally engaged, more concrete experience before they go into a dealership. It also allows dealers who have tremendous inventory costs, have tremendous issues in terms of uh, training and maintaining sales representatives, um, that they can take advantage of new technologies and actually provide a more efficient uh, selling process to their customers. Our VR library enables the dealer to actually show competitive products. So if you're in a Ford dealership and somebody says, geez, I really want to go check out a Chevrolet, they don't have to go to that other dealership. They can see it right there. Right. And, uh, Before you go. That's right. You don't have to go there. Side, right. I can show it to you right here. Yeah.